fantastic developer community, all millions of you around the world, for choosing to build with Google. At Google, we're on a mission to make generative AI accessible to every developer on the planet. That's why Gemini is available to you, all developers to use in Android Studio, Chrome DevTools, Project IDX, Colab, VS Code, IntelliJ, and Firebase. We make it easy to start building an AI app with a simple API integration, so you can focus on building the best possible products for your users. And like you heard about earlier today, selecting the right AI model for your needs requires a balance across quality, cost, and speed. That's why I'm thrilled that Gemini 1.5 Flash is officially open to all developers to start building with today. You can get started using the Gemini API in Google AI Studio, which is now available in more than 200 countries and territories. Next, let's look at Gemini Nano, our most efficient model for on-device tasks. It runs directly on mobile, enabling low latency responses and data privacy. This helps you implement features like suggested replies and messaging apps while knowing that the data won't leave the device. Today, I'm excited to announce that we're taking a significant step forward. With Towards to Future with first-class tooling and library support for Kotlin multi-platform on Android. Now, what's happening here is I'm using the large context window of Gemini 1.5 Pro that is coming later this year for Android developers. This allows you to do higher quality multimodal input. Again, what we did here was upload a wireframe for an app and give it a very informative prompt that reads, for the image provided, use Jetpack Compose to build the screen so the Compose preview is as close as possible to this image. And also make sure to include imports and use Material 3. So with all these put together, we get a multimodal response back from the Gemini model. Okay, so here it is. All right, so we have a main activity here. It's using Material 3. All right, so let me just copy that to my clipboard. Let me add to my file. Let me close this. Let's open up the preview here. Let's make this interactive. And there we go. Starting in Chrome 126, Gemini Nano will be built into the Chrome desktop client itself. We use Gemini to enable Chrome's features, including Help Me Write, which uses on-device AI to help users write short-form content like product reviews, social media posts, and customer feedback forms. Google is committed to helping you build, test, and ship AI-powered apps that run well on Android, web, and across all the platforms your users need. So today, IDX is open to public beta with no wait list. To start, IDX makes it so easy to get to work quickly with over a dozen preloaded templates with the basic files and packages you need, or by importing your existing GitHub repo and its dependencies, or even by starting with a blank slate. Today, we're evolving Firebase again. We want to enable you to rapidly build and run AI-powered experiences in your apps across platforms. I'm excited to announce Firebase GenKit, a new AI integration framework for app developers in beta now for Node.js and with Go support coming soon. GenKit gives you a consistent API across LLMs. And with GenKit, trying a new model is just as easy as changing a single argument. What about when you need a little bit more flexibility and control to be able to fine tune, augment, and ground a model for your specific use cases? That's why we released our Gemma family of open models. Just last month, we released Code Gemma to better support coding tasks across languages, and Recurrent Gemma that leverages recurrent neural networks and local attention to improve memory efficiency and faster inference. And as Josh announced earlier this morning, we're adding Pali Gemma for multimodal image to text and previewed our next generation, Gemma 2, with new architecture that achieves stellar performance and fits onto a single TPU V5e. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go build something amazing! Yeah.